Hey everybody, welcome back, unboxing time, and tonight we're gonna do 12 Funko Mystery Minis, woo! Um, we haven't done any of these all month, actually. I've gotten so many subscription boxes, and just one-off boxes, and just all kinds of other stuff, and I was even up to three unboxings a week minimum uh, by the end of the month, and we still haven't gotten to these. So I thought, one day left in the month, let's get at least one of these mystery mini things out in the month, and here we go. So, we've got some cool stuff. We've got a common uh, Walking Dead Series 4. We've got three Suicide Squad common ones. I haven't opened any of those yet. we got two of the common Five Nights at Freddy's and two of the Hot Topic Five Nights at Freddy's. Two of the common uh, Shonen Jumps, and not opened any of these yet either, but two of the common uh, Harry Potter ones. So, pretty good mix and, mix and match of what we got going on. And, you know, these things take a while, so we're just going to jump right into it, shall we? Let's start off with one of the Hot Topic uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Because I've opened a few of these, and these things are pretty cool. I'm not great with the names, but, you know, some of them I'm starting to learn. Those games are awesome. I really, it's, it's something I enjoy watching people play more than I actually enjoy playing a lot of the time. Uh, let's see if I can remember how we do this. We feel around a little bit. It's got giant bunny ears. They feel kind of, does not have a guitar, so it's not that one. They're not bent forward. I think this is going to be the one in 12 bottom purple one. Nothing too special. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm absolutely wrong. Oh, I should have felt the hook hands. This is a uh, kind of the wolfy bear with like the hook hand thing. Again, that is a character whose name I do not know, but that is a really nice mystery mini. Take a look at that thing, man. There's some awesome creepy ass detail in that. Really, really like that. Awesome, all right, well that's a very good first one to have. Uh, somebody get on making the Five Nights at Freddy movies or give me the rights to do it because they would make an amazing, amazing horror film and it needs to happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into one of these, <laughs> jump into one of these Shonen Jumps. As you may know, I am mostly looking for the Dragon Ball ones. I have a lot of the other ones. Um, some of these shows I am familiar with, some I'm not. You know, I'm still fairly new to anime, a couple years into it and not seen a ton of stuff, but I do love a lot of what I have seen, one of which being Dragon Ball. Not quite to Dragon Ball Z yet, still running through the original Dragon Ball, but I do love it. So, what do we get? We got something with spiky hair, shocker. It is, it is, uh, um, you know, anime after all. But, you know, kind of smooth in the back. This might be, huh, I don't know, arms out to the side, sword going through the back. I think this is uh, one of the Naruto, one of the Naruto ones, the dark-haired Naruto guy. I don't, I don't know if I have him at all, or her. Eh, looks vaguely familiar. I might have that. Check that out. That's actually pretty cool. Some nice little detail going on in that. Always like the angry stances, the angry poses. Ready for a fight. All right, pretty cool. Ready? Ready to have some magic happen? <laughs> See what I did there? Magic? Let's check out one of my first, well, my actual first ever Harry Potter mystery mini. Uh, these are a good kind. They're not all 1 in 12. The uh, the little ones, like the, the animals and stuff like that, are various things from, you know, 1 in 12 to 1 in 72. Maybe even more. I didn't look that closely. Uh, looks like mostly 1 in 12, 1 in 24, 1 in 36, and 1 in 72. There is a 1 in 6 in here too, but I don't have any of them, so chances of me having this first one are very, very, very slim. <laughs> but you never know with these things. There can sometimes be something crazy happening. Okay, looks like I got a character. Slim body, uh, arms out to the side, definitely has hair, kind of spiky, and I think I got a Harry. You know what? That's cool. I'm, I'm down with getting a Harry. That is a great one to start on. I did. I got Harry Potter, the man himself. Uh, when these movies first came out, I was working in a movie theater, I was a projectionist, and we had like black uniforms, and I had black circular glasses, and occasionally I'd have to go down and tear tickets, and my god, how often people were like, are you Harry Potter? But you know what, it was fun, it didn't bother me too much, especially after I started seeing the movie, and I'm like, holy shit, this is a really good movie. It was the Quidditch thing, like I went and I saw the Quidditch thing, and I'm like, oh my god, what have I been avoiding this for? That's awesome, it reminds me of a speeder bike chase. Anyways, there's Harry. He looks very, very cool. I don't know about the body pose. That's kind of weird that he's just standing all like awkward. He's standing like a penguin. It's Harry pretending to be a penguin. I guess he's he's doing his penguin spell. He's one in 12, pretty easy. All right, cool. Suicide Squad, sweet. I am seeing this this Thursday. Cannot wait. Uh, really, really looking forward to it. Harley Quinn, the Joker, and everybody else. Actually, I'm really kind of getting excited for Captain Boomerang. These are all 1 in 12. Um, I got 2 and 2, so it is possible I end up with duplicates. I'm saving one for another round. I just thought I'd do three of them here. But this is the very first one I've opened, so it should be something I don't have. Ooh. Oh, oh, we got a Harley. We got the Harley with the bat and the pigtails. Oh, I don't know that there's one I could have wanted more. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, it's got some like paint crap, paint chips damage in the eyes and stuff, but. Still very, very cool. All kinds of detail in this one, man. Oh my god, there's all these like tiny little tats on her leg and stuff. Check that out, dude, though. That is awesome. That's like, I think I'm taking that downstairs and putting it on my desk right now. Well, when I finish this video and go down and transfer the footage. 
Awesome, awesome, Dr. Harleen Quinzel. Oh no, 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 don't be a, don't be a piece of shit that won't stand up on its own. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Funko, come on, man. Get your shit together. Seriously, I was so excited for that. Guess it ain't going on my desk because it ain't gonna stand up worth a damn. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get some like hot glue and some stands. That is bullshit, Funko. Make a better product. All right, moving on, especially as expensive as these damn things are. Moving on, we'll jump into another Suicide Squad one. Tell you what, hope I get a Joker. Actually, now I'm kind of like, maybe I, I would be all right if I get a duplicate so I can get a Harley that maybe stands on her own two legs. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got long hair and a sword. I think we got Katana. Yep, looks like we got Katana. Hey, she's pretty freaking sweet too. I actually am aware of her, thanks to Arrow. Ooh, man, these Suicide Squad ones have really great detail to them. These are some of the best mystery minis I've ever seen. Even got a little knife in her jacket and stuff. I don't know how well that's gonna show up in a picture, but oh yeah, dude, she's looking really cool. She's looking really cool. Will she stand on her own? Barely, but she does. All right, cool. I'm down with that. All right, I'll have way, a little, half, about halfway through here, guys. Let's uh, let's jump into this Walking Dead. See what we get. I got a few of these from Series 4, but not too many yet. So, honestly, it's been so long since I've opened any. I don't remember which ones I do have. So, if I get a duplicate, I might be wrong and think I don't have it or something. But let's find out. Let's tear into the sucker and see what we get. All right, I like to do my little feel thing. That's the fun part for me. Long hair, arms out to the side, some kind of weapon in one of them. Who's got the long hair? I bet this is Michonne, Cop Michonne. I kind of feel like that's one of the few I have, but I could be totally wrong. I might have just seen somebody's picture. Ooh, shite. Might have just seen somebody's picture of her recently. Um, but it is a really cool one. Her expression's a little odd, but I do like it. I'm pretty cool with that. I like that. That's a nice little mystery mini. All right, well, there you go. So there's another one. So we're halfway through, gang. Let's take a little sip of the fun stuff. And let's start running back through them. Uh, we'll go this way, I think. Let's let's get into these common Five Nights at Freddy's. I want to see what I get. Keep my eye on the time for y'all. Trying to rush through it, not take too much, too much of your life away. Trying to see what these things are. But you know, you know how it is. We all got on these YouTube rabbit holes. That's what I was doing, and that's why I started doing these. Uh, not buying them, but doing the videos. I think we got the creepy mask thing from I think like the third game, maybe the fourth game. I've already got him though, so that's cool. He is creepy. He is cool. But I do have that one. So, you know, I mean, it's fine. I, I'm starting, I'm getting that level of the, uh, the the Freddy's ones now where I do have most of what we end up seeing, so. That's okay. Or, I mean, you know, I'm like halfway there, so you start getting a lot of duplicates, especially out of the common boxes. I still can't get over the fact that I got a common that was not in, listed in the Hot Topic box in a Hot Topic box on one of these last ones. That was so weird. Especially because I got excited thinking I got one of the Hot Topic exclusives when I did not. Ow. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Okay, we got the little beanie thing on the head. Oh, cool. Well, is there two people with the beanie thing on the head? Because I don't feel the sucker in his hand. And that would be part of what makes it cool. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see anything else that that could be. Let's see. What, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, so this is the common one in 12. I think this is what I actually pulled out of the Hot Topic one, and this one is not listed on, as available in the Hot Topic one. So that's definitely a duplicate. But you know what? It's still pretty cool. We do like the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. You know what, hell, let's just go ahead and get through the last Five Nights at Freddy's one. Just get those off the table. Because I think I want to end on the Suicide Squad and right before that, Harry Potter. So, you know, we'll do Shonen Jump after this. But what do we get? This is one of the Hot Topic ones, so it could be cool. Uh, it's got a top hat. Ooh, it could be the one in 36 uh, Black Bear, Black Freddy. That would be nice. Could be regular Freddy, though. Ooh, it is. It is the one in 36. Nice. Uh, the Stealth Freddy. I don't know if that's what you would call him, but that's what I'm gonna call him. That is actually really cool. Awesome, and he is one in 36, so that is a nice little pull there. I always like when I get the harder ones to pull. All right, moving on, guys. We're running through this. Let's do the Shonen Jump one. I think we can get to it real fast. Come on, give me a Goku. I'm still looking for Goku, although Piccolo would be pretty cool too. Who are we gonna get? Who will jump into my hands? See what I did there? I'm so clever. That's why you guys love me. Uh, it's definitely not Goku. He's got kind of a balding hit. It might be Piccolo. I think we got a Piccolo, gang. I think we did. Yes, we did. Sweet. Like, literally, I'm in Dragon Ball in Series 4. So, like, they're kind of dealing with King Piccolo right now. It's not this version, though. He apparently will change a lot for uh, DBZ. But I am still really enjoying that storyline and really anxious to get back to it. But that is really cool. There's some great detail in that. And I'm really, really happy about having him. And I like the colors and everything about that. Really, really cool. All right, well, there you go. All right, we're getting... Ooh, we're getting there, boys and girls. Last two that we're doing tonight, and I'm excited. Let's see if we can pull off a little bit more Harry Potter magic. I watched the uh, Comic-Con 
Fantastic Beasts trailer today and it really got me in the Harry Potter mood, but it's a little bit early for me to do my rewatches, so I'm gonna hold off a little bit longer on that. So what are we gonna get? I think we got a shorty, so we might have got one of these uh, more rare ones. It's definitely something short. Uh, okay, it has something, hmm, that one's gonna be, that's gonna be hard to tell what this is in the thing. It might be the, uh, it might be Hermione's cat. That's kind of what it feels like, so let's see. I believe so, that is the color we got. Yes, that is what it, aw, 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 pet the kitty, pet the kitty. Aw, that's a really cute cat. Although his head and body are awkwardly colored, they're, they're a different color. Hopefully you can see that in the photo, it's a little weird. But um, it is one in 12, but still, that's all right. That's all right, I'll take it. Maybe it would have been cooler to get Harry's owl just since I got Harry, but you know what? Those are the first two I ever got of these. They're brand new, I'm sure I'll be getting some more. All right, well here we are. Here we are at the last stop of the day. Um, I really would like a Joker, although honestly I'd really like a Harley that's gonna stand up. That's what I really want, but it doesn't feel as heavy as that Harley felt. So maybe we'll get one of the versions of Joker in here, although pretty much any of them are cool, so I'm happy. Maybe Captain Boomerang, that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, we got a smooth head. I think we probably got a dead shot. Well, I don't know. Is there a dead shot with his arms down? Oh, this must. This might be Killer Croc. I think this is, no, it could be Diablo, actually. It's either Killer Croc or Diablo. I'm gonna bet it is Diablo. And no, it's, ooh, nope. I got my wish. I got me wish, dude. We got us a cool Joker. We got us the Silver Jacket Suit Joker. If only Harley would stand up, it'd be so cool. They could like stand up together. I hate that, that I'm gonna have to like put her on a stand or something. Will he stand up? Good, he stands up really well. Yeah, that is nice though. I like that smirk. That's really cool. You like that smirk? I like that smirk. That is awesome. Green hair just pops really vibrant. That's nice. Uh, he's a, oh, there's a really terrible job going on under the back of his neck, but that's okay. You'll rarely ever look there, so not too terribly worried about it. Well, anyways, guys, there. Actually, I think we did a really great haul, to be honest with you. Um, I think maybe I got like two or three, maybe four out of the 12 that I already had, if I can remember correctly. And the only real disappointment, honestly, is that Harley won't stand up. That sucks so bad, dude. Anybody else's Harley won't stand up? Like, she's just so back heavy. You know, there's so much weight back here and her feet are uneven. She's just going down every time. That sucks. Because Harley should not go down that easy. Not without a fight, damn it. All right, well anyways, guys, I had a blast opening these. I hope you had a blast looking at them and seeing me open them and having all that fun with me. Thank you for joining on the Eric Budge channel. Uh, comment away though, guys. What'd you think? Are you excited? Are you upset? Do you get a Harley that won't stand up too? Isn't that like the worst thing with these mystery minis? Like such a big disappointment. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you thought. Comment away. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm excited to see what you think, what you want, what you don't want, what you've got, what you ain't got, what you're trying to get. Let me hear your stories, your Funko stories. They're always good times. Well, they're not always good times, but it's always a good time to hear them. Other than that, you can hit that thumbs up button and give me the thumbs up of encouragement because it's nice to be encouraged. Subscribe if you're new here. We do all kinds of nerdy, geeky things every single day on the Eric Butts channel. Of course, share with your friends because if you're cool, they're cool. We should all be cool together. And if you want to see this channel grow and you want to see more videos, you want to help support it and all that, I got a link to a Patreon channel down below. You might want to check that out. No pressure, no worries. Just want to let you know it's there. All right, gang. Well, I had fun, so I'm going to get out of here now, though. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my drink, and I'll see you guys later.